It's a small town, but it has uh, several large businesses in the area. There's Kingdom Trails, uh, which is uh, the base for that is located right in the village, and there's several miles of mountain biking trails. And there's a Q Burke, which is located just north of the bridge structure. So this, this bridge is kind of located right in the middle of, of all that activity. This bridge was really on 114, which is a state highway, what happens to be the dead center of our village. When you are doing a bridge project in a town that's heavily dependent on tourism, you really have to take special care to plan your project so it doesn't interfere with their prime season. There was going to be impacts with construction. With the accelerated bridge option, we could reduce that into a matter of weeks. We were able to drill and pre-excavate for the pile before the closure, which really minimized the actual closure time uh, and also eliminated some of the unknowns going into the closure period. Now they had the rest of the summer where the bridge project wouldn't impact the tourist traffic. With all projects, uh, a key thing is to build relationships with key stakeholders and keep up the conversation throughout the project so that you get a good sense of how the community is feeling. We listened and worked with local businesses and deliveries and, and did our best to accommodate their schedules. It worked out really well and improvements in the village is only a great thing. It's a great destination development piece for us. It was really a very rewarding project. Uh, people in town were welcoming, they were pleased with the way the agency went about it, and it was a win-win-win-win all around for, I think, the agency and for the village.